As app developers, we have a common goal of crafting amazing user experiences that our users love. When we load data using a circular progress indicator, it offers the user no context about what information the screen will display. Luckily, there's a package called Shimmer that lets us add shimmer effects to our UI with a single widget. With a little extra work, we can go from this to this. Much better, right? Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. If you want to learn how to build real-world apps with Flutter, check out my courses at launchclub.io. And with that, let's get into it. I've linked the starter project containing all the mock data and widgets you need to follow along. Make sure that you're on the starter branch and download the zip file. When you open up the project, you'll see we have four files. main.dart, data.dart, foodlistview.dart, and foodpageview.dart. Inside main.dart, my app displays our home screen. Home screen has a scaffold widget with a body of future builder. The future is fake repository mock request, and I define fake repository at the top of this file. And mock request returns a list of food after a delay of two seconds. For this example, I've created some mock data called food data, and food data is defined in data.dart. The food class is defined at the top of the file. We have a string name, string image URL, and a double price. Now food data is just a list of a bunch of different foods. Each one of the food items has a different name, image URL, and price. Back in main.dart, we can look at the builder of our future builder. The first thing we do is check if our snapshot's connection state is connection state.done. And this is so we know if the snapshot is done loading. If it's done loading, we take the data and then cast it to a list of food. And now we have a list of food food items, which we then pass into our food page view and our food list view. And that's how we're able to display the page view up here with all the different food items and the list view. If the connection state is not connection state.done, then we return a centered circular progress indicator. And we can see this by hitting save, and then the circular progress indicator appears. The food page view is just a stateful widget that takes in a list of food items. It has a page controller, and we set the viewport fraction to 0.9, and that's how we show a bit of the next card in our page view. Our dispose method disposes of the page controller. And then inside build, we have our most popular text. And then the page view builder has a height of 200.0. And then we display each image in a container. Our food list view takes in a list of food items. And it's a sliver list that uses a sliver child builder delegate. Each food item is represented by a list tile. In our pub spec, I've already imported the shimmer package with null safety. Instead of using a circular progress indicator, we instead want to show a shimmer loading effect for each widget. This will give the user more context about what the screen will look like while it's loading. To do this, we have to create loading versions of our page view and our list view. Each box here is actually a container widget with a set width and height, and then we apply the shimmer effect on top of it. Let's implement this. Inside of main.dart, we can set the mock requests to have a delay of 5 seconds, and so that way whenever we save, we can see our loading state for 5 seconds. Let's scroll down here to our centered circular progress indicator, and we're going to remove this. Instead we're going to return a custom scroll view, and this is going to have slivers, where each sliver is going to be the same as our food page view, our divider, and our food list. Our food items is going to be empty because we didn't get the data yet. And then we want our food page view to be in the loading state. So we're going to pass in is loading and set this to true. Now we have to go into food page view and add a new variable here. Final bool is loading. This will not be required, so this dot is loading, and we'll set the default value to false. And so that way, when we call 
food page view food items is loading will be set to false by default. And the first thing we're going to implement is the shimmer effect on the text. Let's scroll down to the most popular text. And I'm going to check if is loading is true. And if it is, I'm going to first return a container with a height of 32.0 and a width of 180.0. And we'll set the color to colors.gray 300. And make sure you do widget.isloading because we passed in is loading to the stateful widget. So when I save this, we can see there's a container in the top left. To apply the shimmer effect to our container, we can wrap it in a widget called shimmer.fromColors. Let's import the shimmer package. And if we hover over from colors, we can see it requires a base color and a highlight color. So the base color is going to be colors.gray 300, and we need to unwrap it with an exclamation point because colors.gray 300 is nullable. And then the highlight color will be colors.gray 100. Now when we save this, we can see the shimmer effect is happening. Next we're going to handle our page view. Let's scroll down here. And instead of modifying the page view builder, we're actually going to just copy it. And then do the widget.isloading check. And then we can paste it here. If the widget is loading, we need to set an arbitrary item count. So we're going to set this to 2. We don't want to get the individual food item. We can remove the decoration image. And now if we save this, we can see we have the page view here. Now I don't want the page view to be scrollable, so I'm going to set the physics to never scrollable scroll physics. And then for the shimmer effect, we can wrap each container in the same shimmer dot from colors, and then apply the same base color and highlight color. So we can copy that and paste it right here. Now when we save, we see we have the most popular text shimmering and the page view shimmering. So we're all done with the loading state for our page view. Now we can move on to our food list view. And just like the food page view, we're going to pass in is loading and set that to true. And the food list view will take in final bool is loading. And then this is optional, so this dot is loading. Set that to false. Now to create the shimmer effect for each list tile, we're going to have four different containers. One for the leading widget, one for the title widget, subtitle, and the trailing icon. And just like the page view, this is going to be really straightforward to do. We first check if is loading is true. And if it is, then we're going to return a sliver list. Now we don't get the food item, so we can erase that. The leading won't be an image.network. We're going to have a container with height 60.0 and the width 60.0 with color colors.gray 300. For our title, we can just copy the container here and paste it. We're going to set the height to 16.0 and we don't have to define the width because we want the container to stretch to the entire width of the list tile. Let's use the same container for our subtitle. And then for the trailing widget, we're going to return a container with height 24.0 and width 24.0. And then we can change the child count to an arbitrary value. I'm going to set mine to 10. So now if we save, we can see we have the list tiles now and I can actually scroll up and down. To prevent the user from scrolling while the screen is in a loading state, we can go back to main.dart and then set the custom scroll views physics to never scrollable physics. And so now we're not able to scroll. Let's apply our shimmer effect. And just like before, we wrap it in shimmer.fromColors. And because we want a uniform base and highlight color, 
we can just copy it from the food page view and paste it. Let's do the same for our title, subtitle, and trailing. Shimmer dot from colors. Paste in the colors. The subtitle, shimmer dot from colors. Paste it in. And trailing. And now when we save, we can see we have the shimmer effect applied to all the different widgets. And that's all for this video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and check out my full Flutter courses on launchclub.io. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.